Hey, what's up, sexy? How you doing? They call me smooth skin. Hello, welcome to a big mood bonus episode. We are all staying here at this lovely Airbnb what? in Culver City, California. No, no, no. It's, what? It's Beverly what? Hills. Beverly Hills. <laughs> Bel Air, California. We're like, we're rich. We're rich. So rich. Look at this. No, Look at this. Look at this. We're relevant. We're with the TikTokers, but not the ones that throw parties. We're not with them. Okay. There's only four people here. There's only four people here, and we all work together and quarantine together, so we're all good in the hood. But we're here because we're doing a shoot day tomorrow here at this exact same location. But I, you were sleeping over, so that nobody's late to the shoot. Gina, darling. <laughs> exactly why we are sleeping over here. <laughs> no spoilers, we won't tell you what's going on in this living room, but something is going on, something is a buzz. But a lot of you, <laughs> we are all a buzz. <laughs> Tip is a buzz I'm right a now. <laughs> we had a, um, a, glass? a one glass of wine, one, one, well, just one. one. So a lot of you ask uh, what our skincare routines are, like when we ask you to ask us questions for Big Ass Mood. <laughs> and well, we can't really tell you on the podcast because there's a lot of audio listeners that can't see what we're talking about. However, we thought this would be a perfect opportunity perfect. to show you exactly what each of us uses for skincare for our nighttime routines because it's all different exactly. and we can show you exactly what we do so with that being said tip tip, tip. let's go tip the let's buzz go, ladies del rail uh, uh, the buzz buzz <laughs> the del really buzzed del really buzzed <laughs> Let's bring the wine into the bathroom here. Oh, we're kind of matching. <gasps> we are. Oh, yeah. so we're so cute. Oh, we're so cute. Yeah. Okay, for starters, let's step on number this. one. Step number one. Let me let me close this door yeah, so those loud ass bitches out there. <laughs> <laughs> I have my tonic here. It is from this brand called Essensa, and I got this when I went to Croatia. So this is a good three years old. Oh wow! Okay, so it lasts. It lasts a while. A long time. The deals. The deals. The deals. So as you can tell by the amount of product that I have, I don't do my skincare routine very often. But when I do, this is what I do. So first, I start off with this tonic, and I put a little bit of here. I am not wearing makeup, or or else the very first step would be to remove makeup. But I'm not wearing. Makeup. What do you What do you use to remove makeup usually? I actually just use my um, the magic towel. Yes, the mat. I call it magic, but it's not called that. Magic. No, no, no. Makeup eraser. Something like that. Oh, okay, that sounds it's like legit. It's a really cool towel that all you have to do is wet it, and then immediately you just like remove it with this towel, and it's. Magic. Whoa. That's why I, I want to call it magic, but it's not magic. Dang. But yeah, it's awesome. So that's what I usually do to begin with. So first off, we're gonna be doing some tonic here. I kind of just rub it around everywhere, make sure it's nice and tonic-y everywhere. <laughs> and this this like evens out your complexion. Girl, I don't even know. I think that's what it does. It's like a toner. It's a toner, know. right? Listen, we know what we're talking about. <laughs> Whatever we say is 100 percent legit. Estheticians come come for us. <laughs> exactly. I, I like I said, I don't know for a one thousand percent, but I do know that usually after makeup removal, you start off with the toner. That's yes. all I know. And what I do know as well is that this is a water-based toner, so it's safe to use around my eyes. Nice. So as opposed to an oil based alcohol? Alcohol, alcohol based? based? Okay. Yeah, alcohol based I think is not very good. For around your eyes because it dries out the skin around your eyes is from oh. what I've heard. So maybe if you're more like teenager skin, yeah. like you're getting breakouts a lot, you would want an alcohol, but Probably. not but not around your eyes. Yeah, not your eyes. Your eye, your eye skin is really sensitive. With the toner, I could see. Ew! Look at ew, my dirty face. You're disgusting. Face. You're so yeah. gross. Actually, this just looks like I'm showing your boobs. <laughs> Look at her toner, okay? We were showing off the toner. <laughs> Next, I move on to my Suwasu. This is rejuvenating, essential rejuvenating eye cream. And I bought this along with my Suwasu activating serum in South Korea. It sounds so cultured. It, I got it at the Suwasu store. And I got a facial there too, which was like the best facial Dang. my entire life. But yeah, so I grabbed some of this eye serum first. 
and then is this I, from when you went to Korea? Yes. So this that's like Korean skincare is, is like the top of the line. Legit, and this is like some really, really, really like super high end Korean skincare brand level. So I'm like, what? So Casey actually bought me this and that for Mother's Day. So it was like a nice Mother's wow, Day. Wow, this bottle's like legit too. It's like yeah. a porcelain bottle. Yeah, so what I do is I put it on my ring finger and I just dab a little bit here because they say that, they, that your ring finger is like the lightest pressure. Yes. So it's the best finger It's the least to abrasive. Use. Right, the best finger to use when you're, you're like applying things around your eyeballs. So then this is kind of what I do and I just dab it. Cause I used to be really rough with my skincare routine and I used to just like rub it in and be like, whatever. <laughs> but then now I'm like, oh my gosh, it's really important to just dab it. Because they say like, if you just dab it too, your skin absorbs it better. It oh must be gosh. legit cause we are experts. Exactly, we're experts here. Do you see that it matches my, my outfit? So this is, this see? means I'm an expert. Did you see how much wine we drank? So we are experts. Don't look at my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I uh, dab a little bit of this. And it smells, okay, so the reason why this brand is so popular and so expensive is because it uses ginseng Ooh. in their skincare. And ginseng has a lot of anti-aging pro properties. I move on to the serum here, and then I just do a little bit of that. And then I go like this, and then I dab it everywhere, and then I try to make sure to get my neck too. Tip's a huge dabber. Go like this. <laughs> yeah. And then after I put the serum, I actually like to grab my jade. Oh, roller. I almost brought mine. This is a nice little jade roller that I received. Shout out to Julia, she gave it to me. I watched this video when they were talking about how to use jade rollers, and they were saying to like picture your entire skin, like all your skin cells on your face as if they're shutters and they're all facing down. And what you're trying to do is roll them up. Oh. So you wanna open up the open skin Open your skin shutters. shutters. That's what I read. <laughs> wow. I, I mean, I, I saw in the video. For me particularly, I feel like my age is really starting to show in the jowl area. That's how I feel too, so they, even though I'm very young. <laughs> I'm very young. <laughs> yeah, so the jowl area here, I'm like, okay, just roll them. Yeah, real shutters, roll go, up, shutters. go up, go up, go up. Roll up. <laughs> very dark in here. Let's open them up. Let's get some natural light in here. Yeah, so then I also kind of try to like contour my cheekbones a little bit. But you know what's crazy? So when I roll over around my eyes, I kind of roll over some certain like nerve endings or something because then I kind of feel like a little twitch. Oh, my eyes. and you like it? I kind of like it. I was like, oh, that's why you look crazy. <laughs> like your eyes all twitching. <laughs> I like it. It twitches my eyes. It's twitching something. I don't know. It's working. And then I do the little one to just kind of get. Oh, get under the eyes. Little bags. But sometimes, if I'm not careful, this little roll. <gasps> yeah, it pinches. <laughs> it I done my that. <laughs> oh no. So I'm like, okay, just. Oh fuck! I just you did it. it? Oh shit. Listen, she was showing you what not to do, everybody. This, Don't is, do how, that. this is how expert we are in here. We show you what not to do. Don't do that, okay? You can't find okay. this anywhere else. No other skincare video will show you the real, real. Yes, don't pinch your skin or your, your little hairs here. Okay, moving on to the moisturizer, which Ooh, is my is pretty final too. step. Dude, your skincare is aesthetic. Thanks. So this is White Gold by Oro, Oro Gold. Oro means gold in Spanish. Oh, shit. There you go. <laughs> so I kind of just rub it in a little bit and then dab it in a little bit and then a little bit right here. I always then, forget my neck. You shouldn't forget your neck, everybody. No, don't. Especially down in your jaw area. I'm so terrified of this space because I'm like, this is where you really see your age. It really is. <laughs> I'm 30. You look so, so young, though. I got to look 19 for Yes. And I'm actually like not on top of this routine every day on the daily. I try to be, but ugh. It's hard. it's hard. Life is hard, man. It's really hard. So I try to do that, but this is this is my skincare routine here. These uh, how many products? Four products. That's right nice. Here. That's not too bad at all. Thanks. Quality over quantity. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Because yes. this is some quality stuff. Thank Look you. how beautiful. Thanks. All right, get out of here. Next. <laughs> Jess. Yes. Caldwell. That's my turn. You're next. 
Yes. How do you get this beautiful skin of yours, this porcelain beauty's beautiful skin? Okay, I have to admit to you guys, I have the worst skin out of all of us, as we can see. What do you say? Why, why do you say this? Um, because I have pale Irish skin, okay? I have a lot of hyperpigmentation. I and like I your freckles though. Dark purples though. going on, and I've got some fine lines coming in. You want to zoom in on my fine lines? Listen, we all have that. So <laughs> you even saying that, I'm just like, bitch. <laughs> I haven't had a skincare routine since prior to 2019 because there was a point in time where I had um, gotten diagnosed with perioral dermatitis, which is like I don't think anyone really knows where it comes from. But um, yeah, it, it sounds made up. It causes uh, rashes on your face. Oh you shit! Any, any cosmetic products will cause like rashes. So I basically was like down to like this most basic water-based lotion that my dermatologist gave me. Couldn't use anything on my face for the past like year. So I've just now started, and also couldn't use sunscreen. So that's a really Whoa. big, really big problem for a white girl like me. Yeah. So I've had a lot of sun damage to my face for the past year, as well as this summer, bitch. I will tell you guys. <laughs> when COVID happened and the doctors were saying, oh, vitamin D deficiency is, is a concern for COVID, I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm in the sun every <laughs> yeah. day. I was outside every day for at least an hour. I've gotten so much sun damage. You're like, well, I'm fucked no matter what. Yeah, it's I was like, like, if I'm going to die, I can, I can just be ugly now. It's fine. <laughs> So this is a, my first step into like something that's not the most basic dermatologist like it's basically just water in a bottle type of lotion like this is an actual cream. Mm -hmm. This is my first week with a skincare routine and it's a, wow popping two products. Guys. We're on the ground floor. We're everyone. on the ground floor. <laughs> so this is a Kiehl's clearly corrective dark spot solution. I have no idea. I looked at some of the ingredients. It's got some vitamin C in it and some hyaluronic acid, which is good for hy like hydrating your face. And the vitamin C is good for one? youth. Mm -hmm. Oh no, that's in this one. Oh, oops, that yeah. one. That's so one. This is a powerful strength line reducing concentrate from Kiehl's also. It says 12.5% vitamin C and hyal hyaluronic acid. So that's what Nikki was saying is supposed to be good for all kinds of things. Yeah. And this dark spot solution. Honestly, guys, I'm going to probably go get a laser treatment done because I know Know that this stuff really doesn't do a lot, but, but I was hoping it would help. If you're in your mid 20s, you can if even start younger young, than that. Yeah, like 22 Actually, and 18. Up. Start at 18. Sure. I mean, okay. start as young as possible. But if you're nearing mid 20s, I'd say start now. Like Doing do this, yeah. hyaluronic acid and vitamin, vitamin C is your best friend. And retinols even, but you have to maybe talk to a dermatologist. Yeah, about. retinols. I'm like, okay, you can you can maybe wait till your 30s. It's you can maybe wait, but yeah. like. Who knows? Okay. So I think my skin's purging. I'm breaking out a little bit, uh, but I think that's just because I haven't used any products. And also, I'm using a sunscreen now, which Gina gave me. Nice. Which is a Japanese sunscreen, uh, the Biore UV Water Essence or whatever. That's the sunscreen. Wow. So I'm using all of these things on my face now. Like just in the last week, I've been like, oh fuck, I need to get my shit together with my skin because I don't think I'm gonna die from COVID. So maybe I should go back and fix the skin that I blasted in the sun all summer. <laughs> Your skin's so, like, we've never had so many things yeah, on like, us. <laughs> Whoa, bitch. <laughs> um, but yeah, I forgot my face wash, so Nikki, let me borrow hers. <laughs> yeah, this is Pure Lease. It's really gentle. It's a gentle cleansing milk. Yes, yeah, so it's a free. Yeah. For all skin types. It's very natural, very gentle, and it's uh, Pure Lease is a really good brand. I'm gonna waste water. I don't think I got enough. <laughs> Do it. Get it. I would normally use, I have like this face loofah, but I forgot it because I forgot my face wash. So we're just using our fingers this time. It's okay, like you have to be really careful with uh, washcloths and loofahs because the skin under your eyes gets so gentle, so sensitive when you're yeah. older. You don't want to be too abrasive. I see girls do stuff like really gentle. Yeah, like Tiff. It, it gives me ASMR because I'm so rough and like <laughs> that when I see girls doing like girly shit, I'm just like mesmerized by it. I'm like, whoa. I get you. You're so gentle. I'm on your level. <laughs> <laughs> I have Jess Lazama as my skin guru oh, queen. She's amazing. And she's like, she looks so young. I'm like, whatever you're doing, she just does. tell me. Just tell, I just what want to copy paste. What does she do? She I'll show you. If she's eating babies, I'll do it. <laughs> 
She actually did the vampire facial, which is like when you take your own blood, you put it on your face. Is it or something? Yeah, it's like they scrape a layer of face. I don't know. Listen, I, it's expensive. I didn't do it, but she did it once. She'll do any skincare thing. That, I mean, that's probably good too, but I want to go even further and do like those extremely invasive laser, like, <laughs> there's one called Halo. Get in me. And then there's one called Fraxel. Oh. So probably something like that, because um, it, it like goes deep into your skin and then it, like all of this hyperpigmentation and freckles and sunspots and stuff that I have should rise to the top. Whoa, of the that's crazy. Yeah. But Let it's me like, know. It's like fifteen hundred dollars or something or two thousand dollars. Let me know how it goes for so you. I'm waiting. I honestly, I asked someone at Kiehl's which way I should apply it, and they just said you can apply it together. So. I don't really know if one needs to come before the other, but I just put this one on because it's like creamier, and then I think this is maybe heavier. I don't know. Don't eat her. Don't eat me up in the comments. So we're gonna be put gentle. The vitamin, C. vitamin C serum first, and it kind of burns a little bit at first, or it's like warming and tingly. So if you try it, like don't be afraid of it because it's supposed to do that. And it says avoid the eye area, so I don't really like get up yeah. in there. I think I have skin cancer right here. Oh no. Um, well like a, what is it, not malignant or whatever. Oh, benign? But benign, yeah. So, um, cause I already had one here before cut off, but then there's another one growing. I don't know if you see that red thing right yeah, there. Yeah, a little I think, bit, yeah. I, think an, I have a new one popped up. Oh. I've already had like three cut off, but mostly they're on my legs. Wow. Well it's like, either you stay inside, you might die of COVID yeah. because of vitamin D Started deficiency. Sorry, putting it on my chest as well. Oh, ooh, okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Didn't know I was gonna get that sexual yeah. in here. Because <laughs> I have so many, like, I just have these freckles everywhere, but I feel like the face, neck, and chest is like. Yeah, so just usually like. Usually I would wash all of this, but I took a shower earlier anyway. Usually so she'd be naked, so. Usually I'd be hella naked. <laughs> and then we're gonna put the other serum on, and I kind of go a little bit higher with this one. I know I have a little bit of the other one on my finger still but it's okay with these two things honestly i don't really feel like i need a moisturizer but i feel like they are acids so yeah I, you can I always like do supposed, moisturizer i'm supposed to go ahead and put a moisturizer it on. like seals it in yeah so take a little bit of that definitely the eye area i feel like everyone's just gonna like fast forward through mine because they're like we don't want that bitch's skin <laughs> No, I feel like you get the most compliments on yours. Leave us a comment. Who no. wants this girl skin? No. Everybody does. If you do, you're crazy because obviously everyone else has way better skin. Nah. It's quite clear. No Dude, one, mine, no was good. One mine was good. Mine was good pre-getting off of birth control. It was so good. And then, I don't know, birth control does a lot of hormonal things that makes your skin look good. And once you get off it, it's like, oh, that's your real age. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anyone that would pick like freckly. I love freckles. Freckly, pale, fucked up. Hey, you're beautiful. Skin. You shut up. That's my fucking friend. That's my friend <laughs> you're talking about. I still love myself. I just know I have shitty skin. Aww. You know? I like your. I think you have such smooth skin though. Please. Well, thank you, Jess. Mine. What a one. Okay, if you want her skincare routine, there it is, folks. There it is. I have no, I don't know. We love you. Works. It's only been a couple weeks, so don't, this is not sponsored. This is the purge, this is the purge. I have purge. no idea if this is good, we don't know. I think Kiehl's is a pretty good brand, brand though. We'll see. All right, Gina Cochina. That's me. You know the most about skincare out of all these bitches. We're about to get. So, I'm expecting the most. We're about to get un Cochina right now. Welcome to my, my talk show here, we're about skincare. Do you, do you have Spermy to wash off your face every day. Yes. Make the camera nod. I want you to make the camera nod. Yes. Yes. Do you, is it hard for you to get sperm out of your mouth? Yes. Well, have I got a solution for you? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> So I've been obsessed with skincare for like the last like five or six years because I went to Japan and I realized that every woman over there that's like 60 years old looks like they're 19. Yes. And I lost my mind and I got deep into the skincare routine. How old were you when you found all this out? 26. Oh, you bitch. Yeah. I was so I, lucky. I wish I went there sooner. Though. I know. So I always preach sunscreen. Yes. In my uh, in, in everything. So sunscreen every day. I literally wear sunscreen even when I'm at home mm -hmm. because it's for the the blue light from your um, your computer and then your also phone. Like, when your your phone or when you walk like around the house and the windows it's all sunny and crap. So I wear sunscreen every day. I literally feel like uncomfortable if I don't have sunscreen on. Yeah. Like I first thing naked. I, mm -hmm, first thing I do in the morning is wash my face and just put on a ton of sunscreen. 
So at the end of the day, you have to wash off all that sunscreen and all that makeup, right? Yes. So what I do is a double cleansing method. It's a huge thing in Asia. So what you do is you cleanse with oil first. Oh shit, mm -hmm. I've never heard of this. So you cleanse with oil first. I use the Shu Imora Skin Purifier. This one, the oil gets, like it breaks down all your makeup, all the impurities, <laughs> all the dirt and everything in your pores. So I use that first because I need to break or break down all of my sunscreen and my makeup that I have, you know, the sperm. Um, the sperm. Sperm. All the you don't want babies in your face. I don't want babies Who in wants babies. that? It's gross, right? Come on, what can't I? Can I break this? She oh. uses this every day. <laughs> this is my first time traveling with it. This work. How's this work? Oh my god! <laughs> oh shit! Okay. It knows what you like. Oh my god! Where did it land? I'm having a hard time because I have um I have I burned myself yesterday. What ha what happened? I was cooking and some hot oil splashed all over my finger. Look, you can see the bubble. Oh in no! There. Oh, look how gross that is. You no. see the bubble? Wait, hold on. Let me focus it. Mm -hmm. Eww! Oh no! Right? Isn't that oh so my gross? God. You can see it the looks bubble. like it's an opal or something oh under your God. band -aid, but it's a bubble. I know. So two pumps of oil, and then not hot oil. Not hot oil. And then you just rub it all over your face and you get rid of like, it breaks down all the makeup. And it's so funny, like on days when I'm wearing super heavy makeup, it breaks it all down. And when I'm done, I just, I just look like a panda. <laughs> but then how do you get the mascara out and all the eyeliner out from underneath? You just rub, rub, rub. Like I get in there. Oh wow. You know, like I just get in there, I rub. Like you don't wanna go too crazy, but eventually you'll start noticing that the, your clogged pores and all that, it actually comes out and you can feel it. No. In your hand. And then I wash under my chin also because uh, I put sunscreen everywhere. I also put it on my neck, so I get a rub it under my neck too. Instead of being like a routine, it's become like a therapeutic thing for me because this is like self care, you know? This is like how you love yourself every day. You take care of your skin because your skin is the biggest organ on your body. And like when I'm old, I want to flex on all the young idiots and be like, look, my skin looks fucking incredible. Yeah, you're like, how, how old do you think I am? Right? It's been 19. Exactly. Guess again. Next thing you do is you add water. Water to it so it emulsifies. Ooh, big words. Oh, yeah, big words. So you add to it and then it emulsifies and turns all white. And then I kind of rinse it lightly. That's cleanse number one, the oil cleanser, right? Yeah. And the next thing is you go in with the regular cleanser to wash off everything else. Wow. Like oil stuff. So I use this one, the SK2 cleanser. And this is a water base? Mm hmm. So this is a water based cleanser. And then I just sweeper kind of like try to foam it. You like that sound? Oh, yeah. I should call You're her. used to that stuff. <laughs> then you start cleaning, you rub it in your face, give it a nice massage, and then like on days that I need super extra love. <laughs> hey. Hey, what's up, sexy? How you doing? They call me smooth skin. Oh, dang. <laughs> you want to find out why they call me smooth skin? I don't, I don't. It ain't just smooth here. I'm right scared. <laughs> that ain't the only thing that's smooth around here. <laughs> You're terrifying. I'm horrifying. <laughs> That's a silicone cleanser. You turn it on and it vibrates. And I don't necessarily even know if it really does anything. I know, same, because right? it's not like that um, Clarisonic bristle one where you could like feel it exactly. slopping off your skin. Exactly. It's like so gentle. Which I learned is actually bad for your. That's what I heard too. Yeah. So that's why I switched to this thing. Exactly. And it's not, it's, uh, this one's more hygienic because the silicone doesn't mm -hmm. get all bacteria infested. Exactly. It's not all porous. My cleansing method is my favorite because it just makes me feel so good after yeah. one day. I pat dry. I never drag my face. I never rub. Good. Because I don't want wrinkles. I don't want to thin out my skin, especially around the eyes. So I pat dry. My next step is my toner. In Asia, they don't call it a toner. They call it um, lotion. Oh. Yeah, which is really weird because even though it's think, all watery. Yeah, exactly. Because huh. you think lotion is like this thick thing that you slap yeah. on your body, but it's actually this. So it's toner, which will help everything that you use kind of absorb into your skin better. So I put in toner. A little bit. You don't even use like a cotton or anything. Because mm -mm. just... I find that cotton soaks it up and it wastes. That's it. true. Yeah. I never thought of that. Mm -hmm. So you just I kind of pat it in, give myself a few slaps. So I'm into that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a good blood flow. You know, after the vibrator. Yeah, yeah exactly. Just, like, slap yourself a bit. Wow, my face is literally my clitoris. <laughs> Keep it clean. Quote of the day. <laughs> And then, very important, make sure you guys take care of your necks and the back of your hands too. 
those necks. Because you can do all these procedures on your face to keep yourself looking young. But your neck will give it away. Mm -hmm. Your neck and your hands, the back of your hands will always give it It will away. betray you. Yep, it's like an upward massage. Oh, that's nice. That's like a facial person's doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay, toned, absorbed, right? Yes. And then the next thing I like to do is, so I always go by what's thinnest first, the consistency. Yes. And then I go to the thicker ones. So my next one is an Essence. Mm. As you can see, this is my favorite brand. Yes. I stock up on this when I go to Asia. SK2. Mm -hmm. What's an Essence? I don't know. <laughs> Good for you. So I basically do the same thing. Just put it in there. Pat. I have like combination dehydrated skin. Mm -hmm. So like here, I'm like kind of oily in the morning, but here I'm like super dry. So I like to just like layer on another moisturizer. And my favorite one is this one. It's a Gokujin from Hada Labo, Gokujin. And it's like this, it's such a nice consistency. It's like, it's like a little bit oily. Kind Where do you of find this stuff? Um, just Japanese markets. Huh? Yeah, Japanese I've never markets. seen that. So this one is like one of the best selling things in Asia and huh. it's really affordable you can get this in like drugstores and like whatever stores and it's so good and it's so light so like if you just need like a, a quick moisturizer it's not like a cream or anything yeah you just slap this on your face and right before makeup it absorbs it like and it's just so like it's kind of slimy but it absorbs so well wow and I just rub it on my face gently I actually have to wait 20 minutes. I have like a custom made skincare cream and it comes with a, a chemical called tretinoin. It's almost like a retinol, uh -huh. which is really good for your skin. Like you should start using retinol early on. Like it's anti-aging, it's good for your wrinkles, it's good for pores and everything. And it's like, it's one of those like a little goes a long way. I think mine's like 0.025%. Yeah. And like you put that on your face, like you use it every other day or every two days because it's fucking strong right but like it exfoliates my top layer it gets rid of like small fine lines it makes my pores smaller it evens out my skin tone it's so good but i can only use a little bit at a time and you have to wait 20 minutes after washing your face otherwise it'll just mess up your skin pretty badly oh shit so i do all this i wait 20 minutes and then i use one tiny pump of this and then i mix it with my actual like face cream and mix it all together Oh, yeah. And Where'd you I, learn to do that? My dermatologist. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I never would have thought to do that. Yeah, because like it's just such a little amount and you want yeah. to like, spread it better. You right. Know? And you don't, like sometimes you don't necessarily want the whole like just raw. Like, you don't want yeah. to you don't, you don't raw dog it, you know? You I feel like that's it. been my biggest problem with retinols. Mm -hmm. It's just so strong. Yeah, so you mix it with a, a nice face cream or whatever. And then I put that over my face. And then my last step is I put um, Aquaphor on my lips so it's not dry. Uh -huh. And that's my whole entire skincare. Nice. Routine. Yeah. So in 20 minutes, you're going to do that mixture. Okay. In 20 minutes, I'm going to mix that together. I'm going to put it on my face and then I go to bed. And then the next day, you wash it off. But the thing with the retinol is if you're going to use retinol like that because it peels off so much, yeah. you must, must absolutely use sunscreen huh otherwise it'll, your face will absolutely get messed up right so you use a bunch of sunscreen with that too and you want to use retinol at nighttime at nighttime yeah only yeah so you just sleep on it and then it's like you start having this thing called like glass skin oh yeah where your skin looks like it's really shiny whatever whatever but it, some people are like oh it's oily but it's not if you it's touch well it, it's hydrated mm-hmm so that's why when I do like filming and stuff, I have to put powder on oh. because it's not that I'm oily. It's just like I'm shiny now because it's like this glass, glass skin. skin. Mm -hmm. That's actually been a trend with makeup lately mm -hmm. to try to get that look, Useful to try to look. fake that look. Yeah, and then that's all. And that's yeah. it. That's how you look like a queen. Queena. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Kiss my SpongeBob. Uh. <laughs> 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 have to. <laughs> Kiss, kiss the bowl. <laughs> Day one of following Nikki to the bathroom. Hi! <laughs> this is my nighttime routine. This is my nighttime routine. It's normally very private. <laughs> we already, she already did all the chanting and stuff, so we're, we're good. It's fine now. So yeah, everything creepy. should be fine now. The ritual has been done. <laughs> so this is my nighttime, nighttime routine currently, but as you can tell by my speech, I've had a few glasses of wine. Well, let me tell you something about alcohol. It, is, <laughs> it does not make your skin good. It uh, messes with your your uh, epidermis, and your it just you know messes with your hormones, all kinds of stuff. But big word, you know. <laughs> 2020, we're learning that uh, we just we sometimes we don't care. We just drink a lot of alcohol. Okay, so before 20. 
18, I was on like birth control pills and my skin was so clear and it was so good. And I was like, it's cause my skincare routine. Mm -mm. It was because of the hormones. <laughs> so once I got off, I was like, wait, why are all these wrinkles happening and these breakouts? I don't know, but this is the best we got. So if you wanted to know, here is my skincare routine. And most of this was taken from Just Lazama. This is what I would start with. And I like this because it's a gentle cleanser. Oh God. From Pure Lease. Oh, you can clap. You can, yeah, you can oh, touch sorry. You can touch this. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, wait. I'm getting there. There you oh, go. Hell yeah. It's a gentle cleansing milk. It cleanses, removes makeup, tones and soothes, and uh, soap and sulfate free. What I like about this is that it gets off all your makeup. Like, so if I was wearing tons of makeup right now, it gets off mascara, it gets off foundation, anything you would want this to get off, it gets off. And then I also put it on my exfoliator uh, device that Gina had earlier. I didn't bring mine, I forgot. But usually I would go back in with it and it's so gentle that it doesn't really mess your skin up too much. Let's get that going. Get some warm water going out of our elementary school drinking fountain. God, remember those kids that used to put their mouth over the whole fountain? Yes. And you'd there always want- kid that was that would spit loogies into the Ew! And I fucking hated him. Oh, that kid's definitely in prison now. I hope karma got to him. Yeah. He's definitely in prison now, for sure. <laughs> for, for sure. My face moist. Get it nice and moist. Moist. Everyone loves that word, right? Mm -hmm. And then I would just, it's gentle, you know? Like, be very gentle with your skin. I feel like when you're younger, you're just like, get it off, black heads out or whatever. But then when you're older, like, I need to be gentle. Because I'm forming wrinkles when I'm rough. <laughs> Watching Gina made me want to like do it like a. It's <laughs> not really how I do it. And normally when I have mascara on, I would start here with my eyes and I just really get in there and get all the mascara off. Mascara is the bane of my existence at night, mm -hmm. but it's the light of my life during the day. That's why I told you, man. Oil cleansers. Yeah, I've never used it. Life changing. But I do want to try now. Mm -hmm. Converted me. And I don't use washcloths or anything because I don't want to be too abrasive. Good. Yeah. I do an exfoliator. And this one is an alpha hydroxy, beta hydroxy exfoliator. I switched this off between doing this and doing the vibrator guy. Mm -hmm. So tonight, because I did um, vibrator guy last night. Yes, I did. <laughs> We're doing the alpha hydroxy one tonight. And this, uh, my esthetician added to my routine just this year because she said, that, oh, thank you. She added to my routine just this year because she said that uh, you need to do a physical and a chemical exfoliator when you get older. I hate how, I hate using the term older. We're like only 20 years old, but I think they're just jumping the gun. Yeah, like when once you're past your teenage Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have to worry about it as much because we're still like super, we're super still young. We're very young. So young. But this particular one feels tingly, you know? Mm -hmm. so I feel like, I don't know, I like to feel when I, when things are being cleansed out. It's very satisfying. Mm -hmm. And it has such small exfoliating things, like very, very, very tiny. Because you don't want the microbeads, those little plastic microbeads that were popular in the 90s. Those are a huge no-no. They like pollute the environment. They're like bad for your skin. It's a no-no. And this just like unclogs all of those, you know those, those pimples you get that are like little and they don't form a white head or a black head and you like can't pop them, it's annoying. They just kind of are raised bumps. This like helps to cleanse those guys out. I think it's so unfair how men literally wash their face with like vegetable oil. I know. <laughs> and they have the greatest skin in the world. They don't deserve it. Although I will say that Steve did several tours of Accutane, so. <gasps> That his skin was that bad. Yeah, so I feel for him. Mm -hmm. What I really enjoyed was seeing everybody's everybody's toner. Everybody's got that toner. I, I use this Pixie Glow Tonic. I heard really good things about it, and I was planning on buying it, and then I won it in a raffle. No cool. charity, so I was like, it was meant to be. And I gotta say, yeah, it does, I feel like it does do a good job at like evening skin tone and complexion. Usually I use a cotton pad, but I forgot mine, and then I just saw Gina doing this on her face, so I'm like, oh, you could do that? Mm -hmm. I like that brand because it's like so affordable. It's at Target. Oh yeah, it's at I, mm -hmm. I've seen it at Target. Mm -hmm. The always up motion. <laughs> it's like you're like, please, please come back. <laughs> please come back, baby. Baby, please stop, stop going to the floor. Come back. We should sleep with our heads upside down from now on, so yeah. gravity pulls it up. <laughs> Just slightly tilted back. Yeah. 
some pure hyaluronic acid serum. Ooh. And what? You can't put that on yet. What? You have to wait 20 minutes also. Why? Because really? Yeah. <gasps> Shit, why? Tell me. It will dry it out. From what I know with hyaluronic acid, you either have to have a liquid, like you have to spritz it with water first already because really? hyaluronic acid pulls liquid. And if it's not pulling like moisture from anywhere, it's pulling from your face. Oh my god. So gosh. you have to put it, you have to like spritz your face with water or something first and then you put on hyaluronic acid. Oh my god, I didn't yeah. know that. That makes so much sense. I could be wrong, but that's what I learned so far. Like that that's makes... what I learned from it. But why do you have to wait 20 minutes? Wait, am I mixing the 20 minutes with... Okay, no, no, sorry, not the 20 minutes, but whenever you use hyaluronic, just make sure that you have some sort of like water, moisture? like moisture, like a misting or a rose mist or okay. something on it. Yeah. So just like, just a little bit, because it needs to work with some sort of moisture. Like, oh, there you go. That's right. It's in, in the eyes. Oh, in the... <laughs> The mist now. Mm -hmm. Find a fine mist. A fine mist on your face. Can I tell you? Mm. I was lying earlier. Mm. I don't normally use this in the nighttime. <laughs> I normally use it in the daytime only. So I normally go from like cleansing dry to hyaluronic acid, but in the morning I do use this first with no moisture or anything and then go to hyaluronic acid. Mm, okay. So it's kind of good enough. Yeah. Okay, hopefully that I'm sorry, hopefully that was enough for you, baby. <laughs> we do three drops and I just I just like pat it into it so that the skin cells wake up mm -hmm. and I'm like, hey, I'm putting youth back into you. Please let my kids have a young mother. <laughs> Please let people think I have, I'm a teen pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> Another serum that I love is this vitamin C serum. Mm, Although I've been told to only do vitamin C if it's pure vitamin C to do it only in the daytime. I don't know. I don't know. But it was not by a doctor. It was just by a person. Mm, from what I know, people use it in the evening also. All right, fuck it, we're doing it. Fuck it, we're just gonna, Listen, whatever. We're gonna see what we can get. It's a still a good light orange color, good. Yeah, and what I heard was also that you wanna put these serums on first because they have smaller molecules so they go into your skin easier and then, but if you put the moisturizer on first, then that locks them from being able to go penetrate your epidermis, so. Would like to put the serum on first. Okay, then I got this. Ooh, pretty. Yeah. Bocas, bocas. There you go. Bocas. Bocas. Tatcha. Tat. Just a tatcha ice of eye cream. <laughs> like I heard good things about this brand. I just really liked the packaging on it, and um, it just seemed very clean and very Korean-y, and I was like, ooh, this kind of looks like something special that Gina might put on her face. So <laughs> I'm gonna use it. I just put a little bit of it on my finger, and then I'm just kind of lightly dab it around this area with my ring finger because that's like the one that has the least amount of pressure. Moisture is your best friend, I learned. I don't know if it's still like this for teens because they're a lot more hip to knowledge than I was when I was a teen because we used to get our information from like Cosmo magazine. But it was always like trying to zap all the moisture because like oily stuff makes your skin break out. But now I've realized that like, no, like a lot of times you break out because your skin's too dry. You gotta put oil on there. So I sometimes put maracuja oil on, but mm -hmm. I don't have it today. And then I do this moisturizer, also from Pixi. It's a rose ceramide cream. Yay! Mm -hmm. I, I like love the nod of approval from Gina whenever I like, <laughs> I'm like, this, is this one good? <laughs> Am I doing good? Is this right? <laughs> and then she, she's like, got sad, mad at the like hyaluronic acid. I was like, oh no, 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 <laughs> I messed up. So then I do like, you know, get it even on my face like this. And then you want, I just like, like to get it like as hydrated as possible. I know you don't like it, but I like that mark on your face, on your cheek. Thank you. It's a little comma. Aw, yeah. thank you. Because periods end things, but commas keep going even when things get rough. And you don't stop, you just keep going. <laughs> That's a run on sentence, but yeah, it, it, it needed a comma. <laughs> it needed a comma in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Steve calls it his kiss target. Oh, stop, you guys are so gross. Sweet. I'm gonna vomit, I love it. <laughs> so, like, that was in my mind when I went to the dermatologist and I was like, so what do I do with this? Can you laser it off or whatever? And they're like, well, we can, but then if you're in the sun for like two hours, it'll come back. Oh. So I was like, oh. Is it worth going through all that to get rid of my kiss target? Yeah. Oh, sorry. This is a pumpkin sleeping pack that Julia had got us miniature versions of for Christmas. And then Gina told me it was like the best thing ever to sleep with. And then I did it and I woke up with such smooth skin. Mm -hmm. I went to bed, I had bumps all over my face from like 
little pimples that weren't fully there yet. And I went, I woke up, I did this on a vlog and you can see it. And like I showed the before and after, like I went to bed with it on and then I showed them in the morning and they were gone. Like the bumps were gone. So mm -hmm. I'm a huge believer now. And you just like, you get really generous with this. You can go like, you can put like that much on. It's a last like, step. My pillow might hate me. <laughs> my face is just so moist when I go to bed. The sleeping pack's pretty much the last step of your whole entire routine. It seals everything in. It's a thick boy. It's a thick boy. That really helps like going from thinnest to thickest, mm -hmm. like no, keeping that in mind. I never thought about that. Yeah, see like, and your face just looks pretty wet, but you know, it's not, it's, it's the glass skin. Yeah. It's the glass skin trend, same. Exactly what it is. Imagine waking up just glowing like this. Amazing. I did, I just woke up. Yeah, you yeah. just woke up totally. It's like seven in the morning right now. Yeah. It's crazy. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to coffee. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Yeah, and that's our skincare routines. Uh, that was everybody's skincare routines. We're done. Mm -hmm. So let us know in the comments if you got some useful information from this, if this helped you, if you have tips that you would like to share. We would love to hear them because, I mean, besides Gina, I feel like the rest of us are kind of new. We're just kind of trying to do things right and we never know if we're doing it. <laughs> so let us know in the comments what you think. Also, please like the video, subscribe, all that noise, and we're gonna have some really fun stuff coming up. That's why we're here. We already compared boobs. We did, we took them all out. Mm -hmm. just, just one boob each. Mm -hmm, just one, nobody gets both. Yeah. Yay, we did it. We did it! Yeah.